You don't need to be a heroin addict to play a heroin addict. You don't need to be an abusive human being to play an abusive human being. You don't need to be a war hero to play a war hero. There's always that line of make-believe, pretend, but you have to dance around it and understand that you're actually getting right to blurring that reality. You know, I think part of the approach for me anyway is, is doing the research. As you dive into it, you understand the fact that it is a disease. And I've met with and talked with different people that had sort of been affected by it in different ways, whether it was their parents or themselves or their children. And it's just one of those things that it's, it's you know, if you can do it as honest as possible, from your, your experiences and what, you, what you've been doing, like talking to other people, then I think that's the way to approach it. Shooting in Vietnam did bring a new dynamic to what we were displaying with Jack in the Vietnam War. You know, being in the place where the history happened, it was heavy, it was, it was uh, hard at times to play, you know, and I was very aware of walking around in a 1960s American military uniform and how they were looking at me, how they were taking me in a U.S. soldier standing in their land again. So it, it, it added a sense of realism. We're so far in now, we're a few years into re realizing that Kevin has these issues that it's kind of hard to remember what my mentality was before, but it wasn't nearly as sort of aware as it is now.